Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic practice production pearl of the week. I am so lucky that we get questions and emails and texts and stories and clients so I can pick real interesting information. I hope this is all interesting. I really try to pick useful, practical ideas for you in these pearls. And thank you again for watching. But last week, I got a phone call from a consultant who had been observing an orthodontist during the orthodontist part of treatment presentation. And the consultant just wanted to talk through with me the best way to tell that orthodontist that there's some problems in the way things are being presented. Now, this is what we do. We break things down into steps, we create systems, and we tell people what we see and what we recommend. That's, that's normal. This wasn't quite as normal because this was about the orthodontist talking in a monotone to patients and parents, and the consultant just wanted to kind of talk through it with me to make sure the consultant did not offend at a personal level the orthodontist. Now, maybe you're one of those people saying, tell me, I want to know. I mean, I know I'm one of those people. I like to know how I can improve. You can't get better otherwise. But not everybody feels that way. And the consultant had a nice relationship with this orthodontist and really wanted to do this in a compassionate way, but to be effective. And my recommendation was to tell the orthodontist that after observing, we need to do a little bit more with how we break up the information. So now we're blaming the information, but this is my recommendation to all of you, rather than being in a monotone. And many of you may not be in a monotone, but you're not as exciting as you might want to be. I know I'm not, so we all try to be a little more exciting if we can. So here are some recommendations. Number one, pause as you're talking periodically. Uh, there's a wonderful quote that beautiful music is about the spaces in between the notes. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I like the idea. If you pause periodically when you're speaking to a parent or patient, gives them a chance to refocus, tune back in, get re-engaged. Number two, have a story or two. Tell a story. Don't just blast out a ton of information. There's a lot of literature now from business schools on how to tell better stories. Well, just have a couple of good stories to tell that are fun or interesting about other patients or maybe life in general. Number three, you wanna take a look at laughter. Periodically stop and laugh. Laugh at yourself, laugh at something a child says, slap them five, do something just to break up the speech, the monotone, the blast of information that we give. And by the way, when you're rushed, which is most of the time, you will blast information faster because you know you gotta get going because everybody's waiting for you in the main clinic area. Another thing you can do is ask a question. Stop and ask the parent or patient a question. That breaks up everything. It gets them engaged, involved. Questions are an incredible pathway to developing great relationships and great relationships lead to start. So there are a few ideas to work with. Uh, no one should ever be insulted that they can be better. Every public speaker, I'm one, knows we can always get better with more relevant information, better stories, some humor, uh, humor that makes a point, not humor just to tell a joke, uh, and asking questions. This is something I'm working on very intensely these days, the power of questions. I'm actually studying the academic side of questions because they're so interesting. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.